Greetings from Cybertron, it is Megatron38 here guys, and today we are back to play some more Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. So as always, without any further ado, let's get right into this. So, when we left off the other day, we had just obtained our train tickets for the XX Express, and look at that, we've just gotten an email as soon as we've started. That is kind of strange. Let's check what that is. Uh, it is from Boo from... I think this is the Boo from the Creepy Steeple, as a matter of fact. Yes, it is. And he'll even send us a little picture here. Showing off that little secret that we have already accessed with a, a paper rolling ability. So, for today, we're actually going to go ahead and enter the train and begin with Chapter 6. Okay, so this train is bound for luxurious possible heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes, we will. There's our tickets. It is a valid ticket. And all aboard. So guys, like I said, I think I mentioned this the other day, this chapter is probably another one of my favorite chapters in the game. It's very unique, it doesn't require that much um, platforming or anything like that, but it's kind of like a mystery, and you guys will see what, I'm, um, see what I mean here in just a little while. Okay, so as always, we'll have the chapter introduction. Chapter 6. This chapter is titled Three Days of Excess. Indeed. It's not called the Excess Express for nothing. This is a very nice train. Okay, so here we are on the train itself. This is Mario's room, obviously. Wow, the Excess Express. This is really nice, Mario. The three days to Pops the Hats are going to seem like nothing. Huh? Mario, there's something lying on the floor. I think I didn't notice it before. Well, what could it be? Don't go to Pasta Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Well, that's weird. Sticky and yummy. Oh, no, a weird threat. Could it be Beldum's work? My sister is a weird one. Whoever it is, it's obvious that they're on this train somewhere, right? We had to find as possible before any crazy happens. Yes, we do. Okay, so if you will look right here, we actually have a shine sprite, so that's pretty cool. Um, there is a dry shroom inside the drawer. Fantastic. Goodbye. Oh, uh, no, get out of there. Okay. So here we are. We're exiting our room. We have room number five. So that's just something to note. We'll go ahead and save right here now that we're on board. And we'll start doing a little... Um, touring of the train itself. So let's go ahead and go right in here. As you can see, the um, music is kind of like a stereotypical elevator slash train theme, I guess. Anyway, it kind of reminds me of an elevator theme. Anyway, so we have this guy here. He's actually the chef of the train. Hello, I am Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make your um, com complainance. There we go. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap, cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Okay. Odd metaphor there, but it works. As you can see, there is an item shop right there in case we need to use that. Here are a few more rooms here. Room number six belongs to this fellow here who will be very important throughout the chapter. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I'm on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Okay, so he's no help to us right now, but he will be later on. There are several detective novels in here. Okay, so there's probably quite a bit of Sherlock Holmes in there. Maybe a little Nancy Drew. Who knows, guys? Alright, so we'll go right in here to room number seven. We have this fellow here. Um, let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive at Pasha Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the ex expense account. Yes, okay. And there's nothing in there. Okay. So really all we're doing right now is just doing a little bit of uh, exploring here. Alright, here we have a family of bob -ombs. Uh You may remember them from Glitzville. Let's go and talk to this little, little fella here. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're going to get a birthday present for me. And it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? No, not particularly. Let's see what's in here. There's actually a star piece. Uh, let's talk to these parents here. Oh, you are the champion of the Glitzpins, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bow for Posley Heights. Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Well, thank you. We are in route to Possibly Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Ah ha ha ha! My, my, my. 
Yes, okay. Delightful. Let's go ahead and talk to this man here. Hello to you and welcome to the Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from room five. Make yourself at home, sir. Okay, we've got something to we got something to notify you about. What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy threat. I I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Well, thank you. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start making our way back to the other side of the train so we can explore the other rooms. Go ahead and head right back through there. Excuse me one second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of my beverage really quick. <sighs> there we go. And we do have something going on here. What have we here? Some drippings of some kind on the floor. Everyone's gathered up. And let's see what we got going on. No! My heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I mean, my masterpiece. And now it is gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Oh, God. So let's talk to this guy. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of super stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? Yes, a mystery. A mystery, you just said. And, uh, um, or exactly, what kind of dish is that? Oh, gosh. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this is little... And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenges to me. Oh! Okay. So it's getting all dramatic and stuff. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, the gluttonous woman. What? What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand? Yes, sorry. Okay, some more dots there. Ahem, very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, we know... All we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Huh. You there, I'm a bit of a, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip... The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did do it? Hmm? Hmm. This puzzle, this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Okay, so we have just found something here on the floor. A clue. There are traces of something on the carpet, okay? This looks like spilled stew on the carpet, doesn't it? Don't you think we can just follow the drips to the thief, Mario? It might even be the same person who wrote that mean note threatening us. What makes me say that? If they're with my sister, she gives no lunch breaks. Okay, so let's follow her. Okay, as you guys can see, there are more drips of it here. And the drips seem to commence right here so let's go ahead and go right in here and of course we have this big old joker here let's see if, what he has in his cabinet there are several gourmet food magazines here and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the excess express there's a large photo of chef shimmy on the cover his smile is just blinded okay absolutely fantastic let's talk to this fellow whoa 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 what do you want Burr. sorry about that now what were you just saying a pot from the kitchen Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawers, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Well, let's look. Okay, magazines and something else. There's something on the magazines. 
How would a pot fit in a drawer, guys? I don't know. In that size of drawer. Dough. I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Oh, God. Here we go. So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer! Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfied. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the un unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to c call the ru ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on the train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six, though we may discuss this in private. Okay, so he's getting all official and stuff. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. Yes, we can do that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and head back to the kitchen now. Alright. And we'll go ahead and give the chef his pot back. There it is. And we got a store piece. That's pretty nice. Alright, so now we're going to go back to Pennington's room, which I'm going the wrong way. We actually need to go this way. I believe. Yes, there's his room right there. Alright, let's go ahead and have a quick discussion with him. Aha! I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I've deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for, and, uh, and as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Ho ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No, we're clearly not Luigi. No, do, no need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs, they are definitely suspects. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay, so let's go talk to the bob -ombs. As you guys can see, the train is now in its evening phase. And personally, this is one of my favorite soundtracks of the game. Let's just appreciate it for a second. Okay, there we go, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to these clowns here. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I'd brought my GBA. I think we should get a little above the Advanced Learner's Classic series of Bomb Bobbery. Bomb Bobbery, okay. Two words, cheap and boring. Think mo more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. Poof, I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Well, what do you want? Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. <laughs> really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. And guys, well, let's, let's talk to him again real quick. I think he gives us a hint. Okay, then here's a hint. Yes, he gives us a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Okay. So, guys, what he actually wants is none other than an autograph from the conductor. So, let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. I can hear everything that family is fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a little rich, a rich little kid like that. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. So, I believe if we return to the main compartment the conductor's compartment of the train I think uh, well I guess 
Oh, no, he doesn't want it from the conductor. I'm sorry, he wants it from the engineer of the train. And he is obviously going to be in the front of the train. So let's head there right now. There are also two other rooms here um, that we can enter, I believe. Um, here is this woman here. You may also recognize her from Blitzville. She was there. And this room right here, I believe, will be important later on. Yes, this is Zip Toad's room. And I do not believe there's anything in this drawer. There are several postcards. Okay. Alright. Let's go right in here, guys. This is the front uh, cabin of the train. There's a save block there. I guess we can go ahead and save. What the? Oh. Well, look at that, guys. There's a star piece. I didn't even remember that was there. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the engineer now. Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. So, no help there. This is the train's operation console. There are many small switches and levers here. Okay, I'm trying to remember what we have to do here. Do we have to... Well, Jesus, guys. Maybe we have to return to the bob -omb kid really quick and talk to him again. So let's go ahead and head back to him right now. It's been so long since I've done this chapter, guys. Um, well, I mean, I've said before in this playthrough, it's been quite a while since I've played this game all the way through. So there are obviously a few things I've forgotten. But I think the correct thing we have to do is actually go talk to him once again. And actually, let's talk to him real quick. Yes, about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. Okay. So he was no help. As you can see, there are several good items in that shop there. So we will probably be utilizing that later on. Let's go ahead and go talk to this kid once again. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you've got it, don't you? Yes, we've got it. Let's go talk to him once again. So guys, I probably won't do any cutting between these segments of me walking back and forth because really it doesn't take that long uh, to get back and forth. Plus, it's kind of annoying for me to have to um, cut. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Alright, here we are once again. We don't need to save this time. Let's go ahead and talk to this fellow again. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for Little Bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. So there it is, guys. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Well, that's great. So, I believe... Once you give him this autograph, he gives you a shine sprite, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, go see him once again and claim our reward. All right, so here we are, guys. Let's go ahead and talk to him again real quick. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Yes, we did. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. And yes, it is a shine sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Okay, excellent. And now, it is nighttime. Let's go ahead and talk to the conductor once again. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. 
Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you can look for the unsigned passenger and get back that blanket, I'd thank you. Um, uh, call me Blanket Pi. Okay. So, this is a bit of an interesting circumstance here. Uh, let's go talk to Pennington again real quick. I don't think he has anything interesting to say. What's this? There's an unsigned passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin A. Rudimentary, my old boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passengers, without a doubt, are a yummy, sticky suspect. That is literally the worst hint that could be given to us. Because that... There's no way that has any correlation. And surprisingly enough, guys, the store is still open at this hour. There are times, I believe, when it is not open. So, I believe I remember what to do with this segment. Let's go right back here. And of all rooms, I think we actually have to go to Zip Toad's room. That, I believe that's correct. Let's talk to him real quick. Hey, guy, getting falsely, falsely accused is a bummer, right? Don't I know it? Let's see. I know we have to, like, hide ourselves with Vivian. Uh, it may be this room. No, she's still in here. Which room is it, guys? Oh, no, it's room four. The only room we have not checked. Go figure. So here it is, guys. Uh, I do not believe there's anything in this drawer here. There's nothing. Okay, so let's just veil. Right, right there. We will actually have this ghost appear here, of all things. So you found me. Ooh, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat. No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket, then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. All I need is... Your life! What the... No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the ba baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And don't you even dare read the diary, because if you do, ho oh, ho ho ho, a terrible fate awaits you. And guys, you'll probably know what I'm getting ready to say. Yes, I have tried reading the diary before, and it is an instant game over. So we're not going to do that. So... The baggage car is actually, as you guys probably suspect, in the back of the train, so we're going to go back there again and talk to the conductor once again. Excuse me, guys. We're going to go talk to him once again. Alright, here he is. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! A and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't s say no to ghosts. Yeah, you usually don't. Usually don't say anything to him. Okay, so if we come right back here, his diary is right there. I do not believe there's anything else we can do in this room as of right now. I don't think there are any star pieces that are to be found. As you guys can see, there is kind of a little doorway up there that we will be using later, but I don't think we can do anything else quite yet. Unless we, let's see. No, we can't jump up there. We can't go in there. No, nah, I don't think so, guys. Okay, so we have his diary, so we'll go ahead and take it back. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. No, we do not need to be reading the diary. Oh, 
sorry guys, I was just in my own little world there. I completely went past the room, but anyway, here we go. Did you find my diary? Yes, we did. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. I thought he said he couldn't hold physical things. Whatever. Okay, excellent. Now, it will be going up to the heavens, and that is, I think, the end we see. The last... No, it's not the last time we see him. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, so I thought he left there, but he actually does not. I think that tricks me every time, guys. So we'll go ahead and return the blanket to the conductor. And that will be that. And here we are, guys. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? We got it. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Just a mushroom? Well, I guess it's better than nothing, but we have everything. We're, all of our items are better, so... It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Go away, Mushroom Jesus. Okay. He can just have it back. It's sitting right in front of him. Um, so anyway. So as you can see, yes, the shop is now closed. You cannot enter, no matter what. The dining room should be winding down uh, here anytime soon. And guys... I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. We've gotten a good start on Chapter 6. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I know I really do enjoy this chapter myself, like I said. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.